And welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of. another edition of Michaela Loves Gymnastics. <laughs> How you guys doing today? Well, I'm on break at work with a little bit of time, so I wanted to record the second winner. Shout outs to URK Jump 211, one of my favorite gymnastics channel. His name is that. He is a former Ukrainian gymnast. He posts lots of videos. He posts lots of videos of the world. You guys know who I'm talking about because you guys follow his channel. He's one of the bigger gymnastics channels on YouTube. Um, and my second winner for my um, 100 plus subscribers um, contest, he won because he, well, his comment, his suggestion, his topic got the most likes and the most comments. And he wanted me to do a breakdown of the 2000, um, 2000, forgive me, the 1991 World Gymnastics Championships, which is one of my favorite gymnastics championships of all time. So I have no issues with this video at all, you guys. I love the, two, the 1991 U, um, Gymnastics Championships. It was the very first gymnastics championship that I um, I didn't really pay it attention, but I knew it was held in the USA. And at the 1992 Olympics, they kept talking about the 1991 World Championships. So I finally, I was able to get a video of the 1991 World Championships when I was like 14. And that was my first experience of the 1991 World Championships. And I have lots of opinions, so let's talk about it. This is going to be a good one, you guys. So let's first talk about the team competition. The competition was held in Indianapolis and at the Hoosier Dome. This video may be full of uh, unpopular opinions, so please, every opinion is my own. If I'm dissing one of your favorite gymnasts, it's not that I don't like her. It's just I feel like she was very, 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 very overscored at this championships. I'm talking to you, Betty Arquino. Um... And we're going to break this down. So, the the team competition was first. Of course, the compulsories happened first. But we're going to talk, start talking about team finals first. The team that came in first place was team, the Soviet Union, of course. They were the most dominant team in the world at that point in time. And their team consisted of the wonderful Spelana Boganskaya, Tatiana Gusu, Tatiana Lysenko. This was the world championship debut of Osana Chusevitna. Now think about this. Osana Chusevitna just qualified for the 2020 Olympic Games at Bakura, um, the World Cup competition that just happened. So she has been a world championship and a world medalist since 1991. Can y'all grasp how amazing that is? How groundbreaking that is how spectacular this woman competed under the old 10.0 system where the yurchenko full was a 10.0 vault then she competed under the the next 10.0 system then she competed under the weird ass um 97 to 2000 um quota points then she competed from the um 2001 to the 2004 corner points and she still was able to continue after they switch quota points on her and under this open scoring system and it's still a medalist still a finalist still she won her first world championship on vault in 2003 can y'all just grasp how incredible this is also one of my favorite um soviet gymnasts of all time is um uh, rosa galieva i'm still hurt by what they did to her in 2000 I mean, 1992, but clearly it worked out for the Soviet Union. And Natalia Kalina, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that name. Then the second place team, if I'm going to be honest, I know, I know I'm an American. I know it was held in the United States, but I don't think Team USA came in second place in this competition. But that's neither here nor there. That's just my personal opinion. They came in third. 
and the USA was heavily overscored in that competition, and Team Romania was heavily underscored in that competition. These are my opinions, once again. Again, let me know in the comment section. I'm sure y'all gonna light me up, but that's how I feel. Team USA was consisted of Shannon Miller, Kim Zemesco, Betty Okina, Kerry Scrub, Michelle Campy, and Hillary Grivich. Team Romania, I'm not going to go down through the whole team, but there are two superstars at that World Championships, which came in third place, was Christina Bontage and the debut of Lavinia Milosevic. And Team China came in fourth place, and their superstar at that time was Yang Bo. Now, why I believe Team USA was severely overscored, Betty Okino literally was doing a layout flyaway with a half a uh, layout front flyaway with a half twist on uneven bars and was consistently, consistently scoring 9.9 .9 or higher at that World Championships, which was a travesty to me. There was no way doing a layout front this moment. Every, and, and see, this wasn't like the 80s in gymnastics. This was the early 90s. People was doing a full twist and double back, double tucks, the Komanish dismount, variations, um, other things. Wish she eventually had to switch her dismount and... um. In 1992, but right now she was just doing a flyaway front with a half twist. Um, for example, Tatiana Lestinko was doing a double front with a half twist. If that, if, if that's a comparison to you guys. <sighs> now here is the controversy, you guys. <sighs> the all-around competition next, where the wonderful Kim Zemesco won. She was the very first U.S. gymnast to win the World All-Around Championships. And she beat Spilana Boganskaya, who came in second place, and Christina Bontage came in third place. Now, I've watched this competition over and over and over and over again, trying to justify Kim Zemesco win. Yes, Kim Zemesco had a wonderful floor routine. Yes, Kim Zemesco had a great ball. Kim Zemesco was great on beams. But I don't. I just don't feel like Kim Zemesco deserves that title, you guys. I, I'm sorry. I know this is gonna be an unpopular opinion. I just don't. Her bars was consistently again scoring 9.9 .9 or higher with visible, visible mistakes. Kim Zemesco could not do a ginger at that time with her legs closed to save without without um, splitting her legs when you recast grasping the bar to save her life. Her bar routine was flat. Her bar routine was basic. It wasn't even that hard. She didn't even do a full pirouette, pirouette anywhere in her bar routine, yet she was scoring 9.9 .9 and higher. And then Kim Zemesco on balance beam. <sighs> Back then, this was a 10.0 scoring system, right? So you got to remember that bent knee should have been a tenth of a point. Kim Zemesco has never performed a layout step out in her life with her legs straight. She just hasn't. She just never did. And I'm sorry, I, I just don't feel like she beat my doll, Spetlana Bogan Skyer, in this competition. And if we're going to be very, 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 very... And Betty Okino came in fourth place. Betty Okino came in fourth place, you guys. Again, layout flyaway half. She was doing a harder floor routine at that point in time, but not still her big levels that she was doing at the beginning of that year, not the routine she did at American Cup. She, I don't even think she competed at full twist and double back in the 2000, I mean, I keep saying 2000, 1991 World Championships on floor. She might have, but I don't, I don't remember seeing her doing, I think, she might have, she might have, but I don't think that's where, she might have though, she might have. Tatiana Gusu and Shannon Miller came in fifth and sixth place respectively. And it, I just think it's funny because I think at that World Championships, Belana Boganskaya and Kim Zemesco clearly was not doing the hardest routines they was possibly capable of. I think Spetlana Horkina, I mean Horkina, Spetlana Boganskaya had more difficulty in her routines than Kim Zemesco. And I truly think Spetlana Boganskaya won that competition, hands down. I think if I, and at the time, you know, I didn't know much about Stim, so I thought she was bitter and hateful. But actually, going back and watching the competition, she has every right to be upset. They were scoring Kim Zemesco on bars and beams so high. so And then for her to turn around and win the, the 1992 World Championships on beam with legs not straight on her layout step outs was insulting to the sport at the time. They were just giving her those scores because she was... Um, 
Bella Caroli's superstar at that time. Her and Betty Okino was their career was benefited from being Caroli gymnasts. I think if there were any other gym, if their coaches was any other coaches on Team USA, any any other coaches on Team USA, I don't think they would have scored nowhere nearly as high if they scored internationally, but especially at this World Championships. And we also have to remember, this was the beginning of Lavinia Milosevic and her superstar Tarizum being the new star of Team Romania, and which was very exciting. I'm going to go back to China and Team and Yambo before I go to the event finals. Yambo was one of the most beautiful gymnasts of all times. And I think Yambo really exemplifies the, the China syndrome thing where that her being routine she should have always won. She should have been the world championship in being from, let's be honest, from 1989, 1991. And she should have been the 1992 Olympic champion on being. But her inconsistency was always her battle, was always her struggle. But she she created that game bow jump, which should be an E in gymnastics. It should be an E, not a D, in this current quota points. Now the, auto, now the event finals, let's break this down. Lavinia Milosevic came in first place. Now, I don't know why the international judges were so keen on her Yurchenko 4. To me, it wasn't the best Yurchenko 4 in the time. It was high, it was flighty, but she always had a slight form break entering the ball on the horse. Um, I don't know. I just don't understand why her vaults was always scored so high. And her second vault was her um, front, double tuck front with a half turn, a front um, tuck, a tuck front with a half turn, which was a 10.0 ball at that time. And again, she did it She did it well, but it wasn't, I don't know, one of the best vaults at the time in my level. The person who I think should have won the vault title is Asana Chusevitna. But I don't know why. It's like all of her career in the, in the, in the 90s from, let's say, 91, all the way up until... 99, 2000, she seemed to always get deducted or criticized for not doing the Yurchenko vault. Like, Asana Yusuvitna used to do the Sukahara full perfectly and would score 9, 7, 9, 8, 9, 9 and do a pipe front half perfectly and score 9, 7, 9, 8, 9, 9 and you would be like, where? Where's the deductions? I would like the the judges to go back and specifically point out why she was not getting the scores I felt like she was deserved. And another person, Henrietta Onodi, came in third place on vault. Now, Henrietta Onodi got the Onodi skill named after her. Now, we clearly know she wasn't the first gymnast to do it, but she got the skill named after her. And everybody think of Henrietta Onodi as a, as a bean worker, but I think her best event was vault. And her second best event was Floor, followed by B. Now, on an even bars, Kim Guansu did her famous combination of a reverse head straight into a reverse head front, which gave her a 10.0 and she won that competition. Tatiana Gusu came in second place and Shannon Miller third, came in third place. Now, B, now this is even a surprise for me. I didn't realize this until today. Spellana Bogan Sky was the 1991 Bean champion. I don't know why. I always thought it was Tatiana Gusu. But, yeah, Spilana Bogan won the 1991 World Championship on beam. Tatiana Gusu came in third place. And Lavinia Milosevic and Betty Okino was tied for third place. Now, Betty Okino, who created the triples, triple turn on um, balance beam, always had a small balance check on it. But they would, now this is one that they would kill her for, and I didn't understand because... It wasn't like she was like swinging her arms or nothing. It was just a small, minor adjustment. But again, with Betty Okino, I'm going to be critical again. I'm sorry. She was so flexible. Why couldn't she hit split jumps? Why was her splits so weird? I think her splits were so weird because she was doing it from the wrong size. I think she should have switched her leg positions. And I think she could have hit the splits. But her split jumps was very, very weird. And to me... That's why I would have never given Betty Okina a, a, a World or Olympic medal on beam because her splits were so horrible. And on floor exercise, 
Christina Bontosh and Asana Chu Savina came in first. Now, this is something we want to talk about. The double layout with the full turret is called the Chu Savitana, but Christina Bontosh also competed at skill in the same world championships. Did Christina Bontosh just not submit the skill to get named after her? I don't understand why is it called the Chu Savitana and not both gymnasts. And Kim Zemesco came in third place. The reason why I love this world championship so much is because it was the first time Team USA um, came in second place at Worlds. It was the first time we had a world all-around champion that was an American. And we had two, three medalists for the USA in that world championships, which was unheard of for the USA gymnastics at that point in time. That was a big breakthrough. That, that world championships, the 1992 Olympic team, the 1996 Olympic team, led us to where we're at, the dominance of Team USA right now. I don't think if it was for this world championships, even though I think the Americans was overscored, I don't think the Americans would have had the fight that they have now to be as dominant as they are. Um, things that, um, one of my biggest disappointments with Kim Zemesco is I just always felt like she could do a harder routine and she didn't. Again, I get it. It was the 10.0 scoring system. You didn't have to do everything you could do, but she would throw a double layout so easily in like practices or in like, um, not practices because, you know, it wasn't on Instagram, it wasn't on Facebook. One of those things, it wasn't like a competition. It was like an ex a exhibition. She would do a double layout an exhibition. And we're like, why won't she do a double layout? And then she actually was doing the double layout. She actually did a whip back through to a double layout at the 1992 Olympic trials, but it never got competed at a World or Olympic Games. And it was just, hmm, just not the biggest Kim Zemesco or Betty Okino fan. Um... <laughs> Dominique Dawes, I think, was the alternate at this World Championships. Baby Dom. Um, so, yeah, this is one of my favorite, 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 favorite World Championships of all times. Please let me know your opinions. If I'm forgetting something to talk about, please let that. Please let me know in the comment section. I know you guys are. Um, thank you once again, URK Jump 211, for for um, recommending this conversation. This was wonderful. I live for the 1991 World Championships because to me, that's when gymnastics was, I'm not gonna say real gymnastics, but it was the perfect balance of difficulty and artistry. Nin between 1989 through, through 1992, that's when gymnastics was at its best because they had the perfect combination of artistry and hard skills. They were doing double layouts back then. They were doing full ends. They were doing double layout off bars. Some girls was even doing the Yurchenko double twist off that old, terrible horse table that they had back then. So, let me know your opinions. Thank you for watching this edition of Michaela Loves Gymnastics.